I cannot promise you a life of sunshine. I cannot promise riches, wealth or gold. I cannot promise you an easy pathway that leads away from change or growing old. Obviously, I have to thank Google for this speech format, uh, but it did, uh, it did recommend that I should give you some, some advice for married life. Uh, and what I can say to you is, whilst the, ro the road won't always be smooth, you'll be so, so happy that you went on the journey together. Good afternoon. You're very welcome to St. McCartan's Cathedral for this special day of the marriage of Rachel and Richard and we pray that God will bless their time together. The main reason I'm here is to welcome Rachel into the family, um, officially, although Rachel's been part of the family now for quite a while. But I can promise all my heart's devotion, a smile to chase away your tears of sorrow, a love that's ever true and ever growing, a hand to hold in yours through each tomorrow. Good evening everyone, on behalf of my wife and I, I'd like to... <laughs> I think what's pretty clear about you and Rachel is how much you love each other uh, and how much Rachel cares about you and how she's changed since she met you. I think you really complement each other and it's really great to see you together. Uh, not that anyone was counting, uh, but it's good to see you uh, finally married. <laughs> so we decided to start dating. It's just a process that's a lot easier when you already feel like the person's your best friend. You've always been there for me and supported me, even during the PhD when I spent many long nights in the lab, not getting home till one or two in the morning, and us not seeing each other for what seemed like forever. But I'm happy to finally be able to stand up and speak about a topic which is my favourite, which is you. Rachel, you're looking stunning and you've done a brilliant job organising today over the last 18 months. Richie, you've managed to relax and support Rachel throughout the whole process. <laughs> Richie and Rachel, Mr and Mrs Morrison, the Moes, you're a great couple and I wish you a long, happy and healthy life together. Everyone, please be upstanding and raise your glasses to the bride and groom. Uni was a big step for us all, Richie included. We'd never really been out of Fermanagh and suddenly we're thrust into the big city lights of Belfast. This was a new opportunity for us all, a chance to try something new to really find ourselves. During this time, of course, Richie also fell in love with Rachel. And even after the stretch in the I'm still an education excuse, longer than any man before him. Shortly after becoming Richie, Dr. Richie Moe, he got down one knee to bring us this event today. You've always been proud of me. You have the kindest and most thoughtful person I know. You know, I know that alone from planning this wedding, where during the whole process, your key focus has been trying to ensure that everyone else would have a great day and I hope that you've achieved that. You really do mean the world to me. I'm so happy to finally be, to be able to call you my wife. Therefore, in the name of God, I pronounce their husband and wife. You will kiss the bride. <laughs> All I can say, Richie, is I don't know why it took you so long. As I'm sure everyone will agree, your bride is looking stunning today. 